This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items, leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load, plus skip steps with the load-and-go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in-store or online today. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Okay, so we got this survey that says, man, uh, we got burned out on being in the kitchen by last May or June. So everybody was all for it because of the pandemic. Right. But by May or June, a lot of folks are like, okay, I'm over the kitchen thing. And apparently a lot of us have been running on fumes ever since. See, I'm ahead of my time because I've been over the kitchen thing since cooking ever was a thought to do. Yeah. I like takeout. I'm with you on I wish that. I could do takeout every night. I would do it. Same. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're living the Big Bang Theory life. Oh, no, I'm not. I would love to. Yeah. But then again, like I always say that. Then my wife makes a meal. I'm like, man, this is so damn good. It's so tasty. Like why do I always like romanticize and, and fantasize about eating takeout even though the food that she's making is great? Did you do a lot of takeout growing up? Um, I'd say once a week. We yeah. Were like a, I mean, maybe it was a treat. Once, maybe once every couple of weeks. My mom homemade everything. That's the thing. And also I look back on that now and I'm like, I did not appreciate what my mom was making. Oh, not at all. Some of the food that she was making is like, you know, that's like high end stuff at restaurants, like from scratch. See, so you had an, your mom's Italian, right? Yeah. She could cook. My mom was Irish. My dad was Italian. Yeah. We, I, I got the bad end of that particular combo. And if my it was mom the other was spent, way around, I would have had some good cooking. She would spend all day in the kitchen making our meals. And it probably pissed her off so much when we were like, we just want frozen pizza. Yeah. And she's like, I've just been making like this insane like pasta and meatball, spaghetti, and you know all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, yeah. I want frozen pizza. But whatever you're used to, you don't appreciate. Because right. I had it the other way around where I would have loved I would have loved a meal from you whenever I went to my aunt's house because mm-hmm. that was the Italian side. Oh, my God, it was fantastic. And my mom hated that. And yeah. she wouldn't even go. Like we, I remember we would visit my father's relatives, and now I know why she wouldn't go. Because they'd always put out a spread, and my mom could not cook. She really was the stereotype of, of an Irish person that couldn't cook. It was all boxed Spanish rice. You know, it was like rice aroni, yeah. hamburger helper, oh, and boiled dinners, which, of course, was the stereotypical Irish specialty. I loved going to a house like yours. Loved oh, it. I, I, I got to think back. Like, she probably wanted to beat us over the head with those stupid TV dinners. Like, but we would get so pumped when I get to TV dinner night, and it's like those like crappy, yeah, you know, had those all the time. Questionable meat product <laughs> and the fudge brownie. Talk about the Salisbury steak <laughs> yeah. from Swanson is <laughs> fantastic. Quote, steak, right? Yeah, or the chicken nuggets. I'm like, it's TV dinner night. This is amazing. And she's like, you guys suck. I uh, hate yeah. my children. I love those cherry cobblers though. Yeah. Oh, they're the best. <laughs> yeah, no matter what you have, you don't appreciate it because you want the other thing, right? And, um, but you know, we have all been pretty much like have become, you know, I, when I say we all, I am not part of this group, but you know, I know Vicky's gone down the DIY road and, uh, you know, as well as the bacon cooking and I'm going to br- basically just rebuild my entire house mode. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but people are over the cooking thing. Um, now people say basically one in three people say there are times when they'll just whip together a dinner in 10 minutes or less because they just don't want to spend any more time in the kitchen. Huh? And there's the top five things if you want to be that person. I'm trying to think in my head, like, what can I whip up in 10 minutes? I'm this guy, by the way. I'm on, one of mine, one of, I'm on the list. Peanut butter and jelly. I could do that. 10 minutes yeah. or less. Uh, okay. Sandwiches on the list, but not peanut butter and jelly. 
Well, that's all I got. That's all you got. <laughs> you can do this one, though. As a matter of fact, Rev has talked about like being a connoisseur of this. What? Which one? Uh, the number one thing. Oh, boy. Rev's been a connoisseur of this. Uh, brisket. Ten, no, it's not take ten minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> I, I, oh, <laughs> eggs, eggs, yes. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Eggs egg, are super simple. Egg sandwiches are delicious. I was very confused because I was going to say oatmeal. I'm like, that's not a sandwich. <laughs> no, I mean, not the way be. he the way he makes it. Well, so egg sandwich is the number one thing that people can whip up in ten minutes or less. Yeah. I used to do that in college. Egg sandwich. I was on a on a bagel. Like one of those big store bought bagel bags of bagels, and then just a crap ton of cheese and and ketchup. Spoiler alert, by the way, uh, this list uh, the top three things are basic could be called sandwiches. Number four is always argued whether or not it's a sandwich. Hot and dogs, then, and then and then number five is my specialty. Hot dogs is number four. Your specialty, oh man, frozen food, fluffer yeah. nutter? Oh, <laughs> microwave dinners. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, that's my specialty. Oh, yeah. So that's that's what I'm doing. Uh-oh, my box died. Oh, Uh-oh. now my box has died. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. The, 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 the crowd's a little lethargic this morning. Well, you know. So, yeah, hot dogs, number four. Microwave dinner is number five. Egg sandwiches, number one. Now, number can, two and three can are I argue both something, sandwiches. Though? I mean, yeah? microwave dinner, is that just like you going into the freezer and getting one of those, like, lean cuisine? Yeah, that's yeah. not cooking. That doesn't count as whipping up a dinner. Well, no. it's on the list. I, uh, that's fine. The mm-hmm. list is crap for that. What about those frozen bag meals that'll be like, uh, like uh, what is it, like shrimp and, like, fettuccine oh, Alfredo? Like the, like the bird totally ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You throw those in. And you mean like, like some restaurants do, and then they bring it to your plate. Yeah. Charge seventeen ninety nine. Yeah, right. exactly. Frozen, you put them in a little fry pan, and you have to watch it for 10 minutes. You know, yeah. at least that That's not you... cooking. I, I, you're doing the same thing I'm doing. No. You're just using a... a you're no, losing, there's way more There's effort. a couple steps involved. What are you doing? You're throwing a frying pan. What else I you guarantee doing? you would ruin it. Yeah, you'd burn it. And plus, you're afraid of your stove. Like you couldn't I'm do not this. Afraid, you the top part to... of the stove. I'm not afraid of the top part. I'm afraid of the oven. <laughs> okay, I'm afraid of That's the oven. Better. Yeah, sounds like a horror film. Yeah, yeah. right. No, I, I, like I don't, don't want to go in the oven. I'll go in the top part. I can do. If the meal's already prepared and all you have to do is nuke it, and then all of a sudden it's 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 done. There's no sense of preparation. Ten minutes. I whipped it up. I, I don't. Just count like you trigger that. idiots. You think you're cooking? I think I'm. You cooking. Still, you, you still have to prep it. Like you look at what Danny does oh. with his trigger. I have to stuff. prep it. I have to open the box. And what peel the label slightly. No, I have to actually kind of poke it in. with a fork. Yeah, yeah you have poke to the, cut a hole. Got to poke the film. Out. I mean, come on. If you just open the whole thing, all hell breaks loose. And by loose. the way, I also <laughs> add something to it. I don't just do what they give me. I go get a box. Of, I get some frozen vegetables, and I do those, and I mix it together. Okay. So Jesus. I'm not doing like it's. I don't just eat the meal they give me. I get okay, two frozen will, dinners and combine them. I am willing to give you that. Thanks, buddy. Because yeah. at least it involves more than just microwaving something. Peeling the the, the, the the little plastic off, and I of it put it eating. in a dish. I don't eat it out of the thing either. I think I, I want to. Oh yeah, like you're a, not a savage. Yeah, I'm on fancy <laughs> diner, and I do That's make my stupid. And Why I actually, waste a dish in that sense? It's already uh, yeah, given you. Right? A, you bought the dish. Oh with it. yeah, no, you don't. You, you don't eat it in the dish. You Why not? Because that's presentation. It makes you feel like you're actually made your meal. Do you pour oh, your yeah. soda you out of a can into a, a glass? Of course I do. Going, why waste the energy? Why? Yeah. Would be, what, because you pop it, it and drink it. I'm already. I'm already eating something that's prepared, and I wanted to make it look like it was home cooked as best as possible. You you're putting it, putting it in a what dish you, makes what, you do that. What are you worried that Gordon Ramsay's going to randomly knock on your door? It tricks like, my brain. See, oh, okay. I, it tricks my brain into thinking that I'm not a lonely man because no one's cooking food for me. Cause, oh, jeez. Because if you eat it out of that plastic, it pretty much tells you you're eating a microwave thing. But if you put it in a bowl... Then you're just a guy by yourself eating it in a fancy bowl. But it's in bowl. a bowl. It made me think that somebody <laughs> made this for me, which would sometimes would be me. Oh, geez, man. Do you want us to purchase you like a, a one of those like life li- li- realistic life looking uh, dolls? Oh, a real doll. You want me to get a blow up doll, but put not an apron? Blow on? up, not blow up. Show some respect. <laughs> okay. Oh, sh- show some respect. It's your idea. I don't know what kind no, of respect you're giving show me. Show some respect to these dolls. They're not blow up. They're not. I, uh, pre- you, don't, you need air to make them. They're just they're lifelike. Look, presentation is everything. For instance, when I have a Coca Cola, I mm-hmm. have one of those cool Coca glasses and I fill it with ice and I go tss, you know just like you see in the commercials presentation is everything I just pop the can open or a bottle I screw the yeah. top off and drink it's one less dish to do the oh. only thing that BJ said and that that made sense to me is ice I like to drink my my drinks over ice so I don't like them straight out of the can see, okay I, I prefer not to have it watered down with that ice you know crack, what but, you know yeah, yeah, everyone does their own thing yeah, the yeah. ladies the ladies appreciate presentation I'm telling you right now what I have ladies in your what life? lady other than your daughter is in your house I well there was this old lady that came over one time my wife's friend all I did was take some Trader Joe's spinach dip I mixed it to with some tuna fish 
dish, uh-huh. but I put it in a bowl and gave her crackers around the bowl. The, she thought it was the greatest thing ever, and all I did, it, and I believe it was part of the presentation. Anybody could have done what I'd done. Wow, the bar set real low for yeah. me. Is she old and single? Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I don't ask questions, but pres- if you guys don't believe in presentation, present- I mean, the, the, the fine restaurants know the presentation is a big part well, of the meal. You see that on the that. cooking show. Yeah, I get that. I'm going somewhere. So do it to home? yourself. Why not? Do- I mean, I'm home. I'm alone. I'm, I mean, why? I go through the, like, I have some nice china. Why not? Like, do, you, I- do you like candles you when china? you're having some alone time? I never, that, that's never my thing. <laughs> okay. You know, but I mean, like, that's what my wife would do. She would cook it for me and put it in that bowl, give it to me that way. By the way, I also make a salad for myself, which is basically, I mean, I take the chicken chicken that I open from the can, the canned chicken, and okay. then I take the lettuce from the salad mix bag and I and put that together, it together. And I toss the salad, you know, like a professional, and I throw the dressing on there. So that's make it dinner too, right? Somebody says, I agree with you 1 million percent, BJ. Martha Stewart said, if it doesn't look delicious, it won't be delicious or yeah. something to that effect. Peace out. I guarantee. <laughs> Peace out, Texter. Peace out. I would, I would let you buy any microwave dish you buy, Steve. Go to the store and buy whatever you want, and then I'll do my method. And I guarantee people, and then we won't sell them which one. We'll say one of them is a microwave preparation, and the other one is actually home cooked, and they're not going to tell you, a difference. They'll, they'll be able to, you, they won't know. They'll know that mine's the best one. The last time someone in the Shea household went head to head with me in a cooking challenge, remember how that went? Yeah. You don't want to mess with it. Yeah, yeah, but you're not cooking. You're just going to microwave something and, li- and put it in that stinky I, little I'll, container. I can prepare it just fine. Yeah. Oh, I know you can. You just yeah. throw in the microwave. All right. But I'm going to put it in my fancy bowl. With also my special vegetables that I put in there. Yeah. So in a bag of chips, if you're having like a bag of chips, are you going to reach into the bag of chips or do you pour it into a bowl? Oh, I, I, oh I have a nice – I have a snack bowl. Okay. Oh, you kidding me? I throw everything I in I do that with bowl. popcorn. I don't like when I microwave popcorn. We usually hot air pop it, but if we microwave it, we still put it in that bowl. Yeah, oh. you don't want your hands to get all buttery. Yeah. Like oh, on dude. the top. Well, you don't, want, you don't even want to hear what I do with, with snacks. <laughs> because I mean, I'll blow your mind. Lower I'll, the lights. I will blow Tell your us. mind. Sarah will tell. She'll testify. I get multiple snacks and mix them. Like I'll get the multiple bags of popcorn, the multiple bags of ch- and, and peanuts. I will t- get one big bag that I, I. There's one popcorn bag I don't throw away. Like as soon as it's empty, that's my mixing bag. Uh huh. And then I just take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, mix it all up, throw it in a bowl. We, of course, it's a fancy, nice snack bowl that I got. You know, <laughs> a nice one. And then people go, dude, what is this? This is this is over the top. This is over the it's top. Presentation. I, don't, I don't deserve this kind of treat. You don't deserve. How many people give you? You get a little bit of Dorito, maybe a Lay's potato chip, plus your favorite popcorn. It's the BJ trail mix. There's a peanut. Yeah, I mean, you get it in a bowl. Except it's got the just same one peanut. The yeah, one you peanut. Like the, you one get the lucky one peanut. eater gets a peanut. It's presentation. And here's your nice little soda glass with the, the tss, and the cola in there. I realize I'm similar to BJ, but in a way he hates. I like having a different type of presentation. I eat almost everything out of mugs. What? I have giant like mugs that you could use for soup, but I'll put like my leftovers in there and put them in the microwave. But I eat everything out of a mug. I'll drink everything out of a mug because I love collecting them. So I'll drink soda out of See? a mug. Doesn't but you're taste saying better? everything. So like, what about like chicken tenders? Would you put them in the mug? Uh, if you had a microwave. Right? If I'm yes, I probably would put them in a mug because then yeah, I could still dandy. put the dipping sauce and I'm not going to make a mess. Just, we I, work with weirdos. I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no oh, we work with anymore. weirdos. This yeah. guy puts friggin' axe in his mouth for mouthwash. And you, you take off all your clothes just to go to the bathroom. Like I said, we work with weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't including ourselves. Yeah, yeah, that's including point. ourselves. You just rested the case. DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items. Leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load. Plus, skip steps with the load-and-go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in-store or online today. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well, we've got a rich history with the great land of Britain. 
And uh, so uh, they decided to ask a bunch of Brits about us, you know, like, uh, hey, man, 2,000 random British folks were uh, asked, hey, list the best things that America has given the world. And then later they said, now list uh, the worst things that America has given the world. I'm trying to think of what would I consider to be the best thing. Okay, so uh, I, I will tell you that we are all involved. We, we, we use these things a lot that the Brits have given us credit for being the best things we've ever created as a Smartphones. Country. Smartphones. I don't think we created those, did we? In America? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not Jobs, sure. I, I, the I, iPhone. Yeah, I don't know if... Uh, I mean, I know I, they're made elsewhere, but didn't he came up with it here in America? I, this is a good question. Uh, yeah, yeah, the iPhone itself, maybe you're right. Maybe that was... Uh, I mean, I don't know. But the smartphone, I think, was created probably by some other country. Fine. Uh, I'm taking credit for it. That's the American way. Uh, let's think of something that we all like to do and then chill. Netflix. That's the number one thing that Brits think that we've done great for the world. I do love the Ben and Jerry flavor of it. Well, not the ice cream, but actually just the Netflix itself. Yeah, so I mean, I, I I have to give him credit. I mean, Netflix is pretty. If, if for the ever since it was just like a you know, hey, mail these you know, these movies, and then you get them mailed back. You didn't have to go to the video store to what they become today. It is pretty crazy to see what they have become. And I know in different countries, like there's, I mean, obviously there's different shows on Netflix, so it's not like yeah. it's just an American thing. Because I have buddies that will, like travel to like you know different places to wrestle, and they're like. It's, they, they say it's fun to go there because you get to enjoy the Netflix there, but then it sucks if you haven't finished binging a show that's not available here in America. Oh, yeah. And and you're like, what the hell am I supposed to do? That does suck. And it's, but it started here. We, uh, we Americans, we created Netflix. America, yeah. Anybody else uh, want to take a guess as what they think that uh, Americans have created, the Brits think is the best thing in the world? Miley Cyrus. <laughs> uh, Miley Cyrus is not on the list, but put her there is list. a person on the list. Huh. Taylor yeah. Swift. Taylor yeah. Swift America's is sweetheart. Uh, America's sweetheart, but she's not on the list. You got to think. Uh. Uh, you got to think a little older. And, Katy Perry. Uh, Katy Perry is a little older. Okay, you got to think a lot older. And Ben Midler. Uh, and oh. not a woman. Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan is a real American. He's a real American. He yeah. fights for what's right of every man. That's not what the Brits think is the greatest, at least male. Hulk that we've Hogan's ever done. penis. Hulk Hogan's penis. You are absolutely <laughs> right. You were close. <laughs> Terry, not Terry Belay's penis. Terry Belay's penis is not 10 inches. But Hulk Hogan's, on the other hand, is, well, it just goes, it's still going on. Brother. Is it is it a real person or yes. a fictional person? It okay. is a real, but this real person has played many fictional characters. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman is a good choice. You're in the right neighborhood. Liam Neeson. This person is Billy. Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson is, is not, not American. American. He's not American. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's awesome here in America okay, first. Yeah. Uh, but Morgan Freeman is beloved, but this person probably even more beloved, this particular. But you're in the right category. It is an actor. The Rock. The Rock is uh, – a lot of people like The Rock, but this person's loved more than The Rock, I believe. Christopher Ooh. Walken. Christopher effing Walken? You said close with Morgan Freeman, so I'm thinking older actors. Yeah. And that's he's good, pretty awesome. That's a good call. Yeah, but Christopher – you know, John Travolta. Uh, Ooh, that's a good one. No, it's not. I Honestly, love John Travolta. Come on. Yeah, think, about like too, yeah. think about the actor that everybody loves. Sam Jackson. Everyone does love Sam Jackson. Uh, Who's the guy not, with the not to this not to this level? The Harry Potter guy, the one he's, that everybody Harry he's Potter British. Guy's British. Okay, Jesus, <laughs> the one that's the friendly person. Everybody loves this. Uh, Mister Rogers. Oh yeah, yes. Mister Rogers. Uh, no, but he. You're close. Again, it's not a fictional oh. character. Walt Disney. Uh, well, you Wait, you're are, saying Mister Rogers is a. Fictional well, I should say yeah, he's not fictional. Yeah, I said he was an actor, Bob and Ross, and Mr. Rogers. I mean, I guess he was. He is an actor. He was on a show. Bob you have to act to be on a show. He has to talk yeah, to those Bob little Ross. pets. That's yeah, but the Brits don't care about Mr. Rogers. How do you? Bob Ross. I mean, what Bob? First of all, <laughs> if I say it's not like Mr. Rogers is close, where does Bob Ross come into that clue? I don't know. They're both on PBS. Yeah, okay. Good AJ good Styles good. from the WWE. Is I'm he not, on PBS? Okay, so it's an Maybe. actor and Mr. Rogers is the clue. I don't know what else to tell Tom you. Hanks. There you go, sir. Oh, because oh, he did play Mr. Rogers. Bing, bing, bing. And Walt Disney. And uh, That's and, a good one. I'm surprised no one came up with that one. Yeah, and also, Danny, uh, I am very surprised at you because you are so close as to what number two is. With like pizza. What? This is what Brits think that America is great for creating, the best thing we've ever created. Morgan Freeman. Okay, I just. You said I was close. What? what yeah, what you were close because you had mentioned Walt Disney. Oh, Disneyland. Damn, oh, just Disney itself. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know 
what? You'd think that Danny loves something so much like Disney, and it's a you know, it's definitely an American. You'd think I don't know. I feel like the way you answer. lead the witness, it's it, it, you just give him a recipe for disaster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? He says Walt yeah. Disney, and I go, Danny, you were close. Yes. That's a bad thing. Yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Right, yes. All right. Uh, so we have Netflix and Disney at the top Ooh. spots. Tom Hanks is uh, you know he's like number seven up there. Texture says, "How about uh, Coke, the drink, not the drug?" Yeah, <laughs> that's true. And Steve, I should give you, uh, that's number three, by the way, I should give you a little bit of love because even though it wasn't the iPhone, Apple products definitely are on the list. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, like yeah, yeah. so they, the they, iPad, they, the Apple Watch. Yeah. So those are all considered American products, though. You know, even though they're made elsewhere, they're an American creation. So You're there welcome. You there you go. <laughs> if we're going with brands, how about McDonald's? McDonald's is number four, Danny. Good job. Yeah. Danny's now, he's in. Oh, he's in there. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. You. <laughs> uh, you know what, guys? There's also another fast food restaurant on here, and I'm not sure you're going to get this you might uh carl's carl's uh no it is not a hamburger place taco bell taco bell it is not a jersey taco mike's. place jersey mike's. it is not a sub shop starbucks it is not a coffee shop uh, what the heck uh menchies well remember they love tea over there more so than coffee menchies yes steve the england englanders said menchies <laughs> is the greatest <laughs> creation of america <laughs> dairy queen Ooh, kfc there we go vicky oh. Not DQ. Sorry, guys. I wish it was DQ. What was it? it KFC? Yep. Yes, sir. Mm. So McDonald's and KFC uh, looks like the the only fast food joints that uh, the Brits are giving us credit for creating. All right. Uh, this is uh, the what's also on the list is Shia LaBeouf's favorite place, or at least uh, the, 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 his favorite statement. Oh, Nike. Oh. There we go. Number ten. Oh, you can do it. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm he from it. Just I'm from it. it. <laughs> uh, I think that's uh, what is that Reebok brand? Yeah, that's I was it. asking for a cigarette. You said no. I said word, word, word. Yeah, <laughs> word. That's totally Nike right there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we got Tom Hanks. We got uh, and uh, then we've got uh, we have clothing. There's an article of clothing, and then entertainment. Levi's. Nice job, Rev. Levi's is what really? they yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Blue <laughs> jeans or cowboy stuff. Everyone loves those. I, I, you know, I, I agree on jeans. I just wouldn't have picked the Levi's brand is that the, the Brits love, but In they a do. Form of entertainment. Uh, I'm going to go with penthouse. Penthouse. Congratulations. It's a great form of entertainment, but you are wrong, sir. Well, come on. Penthouse is a magazine. You've got to think yeah. Pornhub. Yeah. Pornhub. Good entertainment. Uh, good congratulations good answer. to good both answer. of you. No, they're not good answers, and we're never playing family Professional Cutis wrestling. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't think they recognize it as it's a great American creation, but they don't think it's the hmm. greatest American creation. I'm not even sure if it's created in America, but yeah. Oh, really? Wrestling? <laughs> I, oh, well, I guess the WWE. You could have said yeah, was that yeah, created that's in true. Yeah. Is it a sport? Like uh, form of entertainment? It is not a sport, but it is something that we all love to do. We all love to do swimming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trampoline form of entertainment. parks. That's entertainment. Swimming is entertainment. Yeah. Swimming is an athletic ability. Have you ever tried to watch someone who can't swim swim? Okay. It is entertaining. It's very entertaining. Yeah. Well, slides are fun. Hey, guess what? We're not winning, okay? We're not winning Family Feud. Yeah, we've gone past the three strikes on this yeah. one. Yes, we have. <laughs> so well, something that we miss. Something that laser we Laser tag. Uh, laser. Oh, I do miss that. <laughs> What you don't you don't miss laser tag? You can't I do it right now. Tag. It's the top thing that I think. Look, laser tag's a very fun thing, but if for something that's entertainment that we are in, responsible for, that another country would go, we love what oh, you putt putt golf. Yeah, that's, that's it. Golf. Yeah, I, love I, that. I know you guys are trolling me, but really, does anybody have the answer? I was thinking movie theaters. There we go. You, really? you, that's it. <laughs> oh, I was just. I don't know why you think. Oh, I don't know. That seems like a dumb answer, but I'll throw it up. I didn't think that we created that. Yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Hollywood movies. Oh. Of course we did. Oh. Now I'm tracking. <laughs> I don't know Hollywood I, created movie theaters. I just figured Hollywood well, got movies, into the movie we, game. Well, we missed movies. You got know, you. That's the clue. I can't give you that. I can't just like, so here's the clue. It begins with an M and ends with an movie. Well, what do you think it is? <laughs> well, and I mean, that, that would help. <laughs> the first movie theater did open in Pittsburgh. So, uh, really? yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, 1905. Oh, yeah, they're an American creation. I what guess movie you guys did you see that. back when they opened, BJ? Oh, it was great. <laughs> it was a Charlie Chaplin flick, I tell you. It was beautiful. Um, and there's a specific movie that Britain thinks is the greatest creation of America. Rocky. Good, good answer. I will tell you this. If you told this to one of their finest actors and a person who is a knight, they would have said they were out of their effing mind, England. Money Python. Okay, uh, no. Wonder Woman 84. Uh, this, is, this is definitely a deep clue. I thought Red would get this clue. Um, but anyway, this is a very famous movie franchise. Star Trek. 
Oh, you are close, but Scotty. it started as oh, Star Wars. It's not a Star oh, that's Wars. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, Star Wars. Yeah. The Ewoks. It's okay. probably the Ewoks. No, it's Star Wars. It's not the E freaking walks. It's Star Wars itself. As a matter of fact, if, if it was just based on the Ewoks, there's no way they would have, the Brits would have picked that. Live long and prosper. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what we're doing here. Okay, well, that was a wonderful thing. And um, they also list the worst things. What do you th- <laughs> the worst things is really, yeah. I mean, the worst things are involved with the same two families. But the, the two, two of the worst things are the same family. Ooh, yeah. So two it's a of family of people that are very famous in our country, and two of the two of the top lists that they Prince think, Harry and, and what's her face? Uh, That's Kate. British. They started off being Kate's well, one not of them. British. She's from America. Okay, great. She's the worst thing. Uh, I, I don't, don't know. Meghan. Yeah, it's Meghan Markle. Okay, that too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kate's the other one. Again, can you think of a famous American family? Uh, Kardashians. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's that should be in the back. <laughs> yeah, and Kanye also on the list. So they okay. they separated Whoa. Kanye himself. Um, <laughs> listening to you guys try and guess is just terrible and yeah. hilarious. It's like that scene from Family Guy where they play Pictionary. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, oh, I know Crocs. Those are some of the worst things. Hater. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you on that one. Not on this. Uh-huh. How about this? Um, which I, by the way, those stupid paper straws that yeah. they're trying to pass off on us as straws. They think that's the worst thing. I think it's the worst. Okay, thing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, here's something, and I don't think the Scottish agree with them on this uh, because I uh, whiskey. Uh, uh, well, also Scots, uh, Scot- uh, the Scotch like to like to fry their food. Oh, fried food! And uh, Englanders think that deep fried everything. They don't go for that. Wait, wait, they said they like KFC, and now they don't like deep fried food. These people suck. Yeah, on top of the fact, I declare that, war. Like their best meal they have is fish and chips. That's I true. agree. Maybe it's everything. Maybe it's that they don't mind deep frying some things. Maybe it's because we deep fry everything. Like, the deep fried Oreos. Yeah. yeah, that could be it. The deep fried Oreos. The yeah. deep fried Kool Aid. They didn't say fairs, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they didn't say fair. How about they don't like the fact that we call football soccer? They think that's the worst thing we ever did was come up with the word soccer for football. I can understand that. If you have a sport that you've known forever as football, and then all of a sudden we decide, you know what? That's cool. You have a sport where you play with your feet. We're going to change it up, and we're going to call football. Our football is completely different, and you barely use your feet. I know we're kicking and stuff, but like you're basically throwing a ball. Even in Spanish, it's football, which like I don't, I never understood why. It's you couldn't here. just come up with a new name. Football. You had to go with football as well. Football. Yeah, that is weird. That when the when you know when we did come up with the NFL or whatever the heck it was back in the day, that they decided to call it football. Probably some because it was way back in the day, and they probably said, "Hey, they, they call this football over there. We have to. We have baseball, and we have whatever. Maybe we so we'll call this football because at some point somebody does kick it. It is weird because they very rarely kick it. In I feel like it should be called fingerball. <laughs> Excuse me, huh? Yes. Fingerball. Yes. Why? The quarterbacks, they got to put their fingers on the ball to throw it okay. for a good spiral. Yeah. Wide receivers have to catch it, and they use their fingers to catch oh, that or handball. I'm with you. Why Handball's already they, being used. Why wouldn't they call it touchdown? Like, I mean, that's what you're well, trying to get. I mean, you know, I mean, if you don't have you don't want to – what else are you going to call it? Or pigskin. I mean, yeah, but we don't call hockey score goal. I agree, but if you, if you can't call it something – I'm going call, to now. You don't call baseball home well, run. Well, why do we call hockey hockey? Because we don't name it after the puck. That's true. You know, they try to ball. Yeah, I mean, you know, no, that's too easily edited. Yeah, it sure is. And there's no balls. It could be touch ball. Touch ball would be. I like finger ball. I do like finger ball more than any of the other. Yes, I'm sure that's a a wonderful name. I'll call the NFL today. Look, it's nothing wrong with the name. It's how you are perceiving it. That's your problem. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. They're using their fingers all the time. Like you kick in the ball, you got the guy holding. Well, nowadays you got the stand, but you know, at some point they had to put a finger on the tip of the ball so you can kick it. Your fingers are very important in in, in our version of football. Well, you could say that in baseball too. You got your fingers on the bat, your fingers on the ball, your fingers in the glove. I mean, you know, if anything. They should call baseball glove ball. Yeah, uh, but to see that, I mean, really, I think baseball might be more finger ball than football because the pitcher has to put his fingers in a certain way to get the ball to curve. You know, I don't know. Yard I think ball? I think finger ball might be yard ball. Yeah, because they go How about yards? turf ball? Yeah. Well, you're on the turf. Tur- well, I mean, sometimes you're on grass. They grass call it grass ball? Grass ball. Grass ball. Sometimes they call the grass the turf, too. And if you play in Washington, terrible playing conditions ball? <laughs> <laughs> so you got issues with their grass. Rain ball. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. That's what England thinks of us. Congratulations, America. I'm glad we were able to help that. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's a question from a listener. Uh, My house is currently in foreclosure. I've stopped making payments. What can I do to save my house? If you're already in foreclosure behind on your mortgage, you can stop the foreclosure by filing a bankruptcy. 
There's different types of bankruptcy. Chapter 13 can help you catch up on your house payments if you're behind. It would mean that you'd have to start making your house payments again and catch up on the amount that you're behind over five years. You could also take off or strip off your second mortgage, which would help you to reduce your housing payment every month, especially once you're done with the plan and done catching up on your first mortgage. We could also try to buy you some time in the more in the in by filing a chapter 13 case. Filing a chapter 13 would definitely stop your foreclosure. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com. That's choose the right chapter.com. And thanks for listening. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org.